What percentage of people that start a book or a podcast finish? What percentage? Again, 81% want to, some portion of them start. How many of them finish? 2%. 2%. All right, so going back to this concept of Carol, Carol Dweck's mindset, I can't finish, that's really hard. Only 2% of people do it? What happens when you do it? You unlock the growth mindset. Why spend a year working on something like a podcast season or a book or a video show? Well, on this talk that I gave, I, I explained the answer to that one, why I believe it's so powerful and that this specific act of creating something, creating something that will take you a while, it'll take you a year, it'll be a lot of work, maybe some moments of doubt, it really does work because it unlocks two core things. It unlocks internally a growth mindset and externally it proves grit to other people. And that's why I think that attacking something like this can be no better investment of your time. And it's one of the reasons why I believe that so many of the Forbes 30 under 30 have these creation events. They wind up investing in something that helps them change their mindset to a growth mindset and ultimately convinces others that you have grit. Check it out. Now, again, the question that you may be asking is like, well, why does this thing work? Like, I don't, okay, interesting, Eric, but why? So here's what we believe. Now, I don't know this for sure. Like, I am not like a sophisticated researcher in these sorts of ways, but here's what we believe in watching people in some of the studies we found. More work will be done on this one. But there's based on two principles of why creation events are so powerful. So two things, number one, how many of you are familiar with the book called Mindset or heard the term growth mindset? Have you heard this at all? So there's some research by a woman named Carol Dweck. Carol Dweck is a Stanford researcher and she found probably about 20 years ago this premise that the only way for humans to realize their potential is to have what's called a growth mindset. There's two kinds of mindsets, a fixed mindset and a growth mindset. And basically if you think about a fixed mindset in this way, like I'm sort of limited by how smart I am or how talented I am, I have limits on myself. That's what a fixed mindset is. You basically say, not everything's possible for me, I have my own limits. Now on the other extreme is a growth mindset to say anything's possible, I can figure out a way to do it. So the first thing that we observe about this one is that when you complete something of this magnitude, something that takes you six months, so for example, uh, doing a book. Any of you published a book in this room at all? all right, so 81% of people are interested in publishing a book or launching a podcast right now, 81%, it's a pretty big number. I'm gonna keep asking you guys guessing questions to guess and so you can prove how good you're gonna get and how much of a sandbag I am. How many, uh, what percentage of people that start a book or a podcast finish? What percentage? Again, 81% want to, some portion of them start. How many of them finish? 2%. 2%. All right, so going back to this concept of Carol, Carol Dweck's mindset, I can't finish, that's really hard. Only 2% of people do it? What happens when you do it? You unlock the growth mindset. So the only way you can realize your potential is when you have a creation event, you believe in yourself differently. That's number one. Part of it is you see yourself differently. The second part of it is based on another part of research of today by, from a woman named Angela Duckworth. Has anyone, anyone read the book called Grit? In the book Grit at all? So Grit is basically this premise that says, what Angela Duckworth says is talent, IQ, intellect don't matter, like in terms of success, it doesn't actually matter. What she found though is there's this premise called grit, and we can predict success purely based on that. And grit is essentially the intersection of passion and perseverance, right? You're passionate about something and you're willing to push onto it. She's like, it's basically seeing the world as a marathon, not a sprint. Like I'm willing to put in the long haul on this one, but it's really difficult to sort of prove it uh, in people. But what she found is when people can see that someone's gritty, we wanna hire them, we wanna support them, we wanna be a part of them. So what happens in a creation event? Well, you basically do something tied to your passion or your purpose. It takes you a while, long term, marathon not a sprint. So suddenly what happens is, is that people perceive you as gritty. So what two things happen is you perceive yourself differently and other people see you differently. Those two things are what unlock the power of creation. Event. So again, if you look at someone like Paula, she basically saw herself differently and people around her saw herself differently simply from the act of starting a book. She didn't even publish it by the time she was able to get a job using it because they saw her differently and she saw herself differently.